Hi everyone, I'm Tom Fuchs, the Senior Construction Manager for the Metro Flood Diversion Authority. Notable progress was made again this past month along the southern embankment and the structures that will control water flows during times of extreme flooding. At the diversion inlet structure, 44 precast concrete bridge deck segments, which were fabricated in nearby Holly, Minnesota, were installed atop the flood wall piers leading up to the abutments of the control structure's vehicle service bridge. Additional precast concrete bridge girders will be installed spanning across the control structure itself, providing access for Metro Flood Diversion Authority personnel during FM area diversion operations. Work is wrapping up on the upstream gauge well structure and has continued at the nearby control building where the sidewalks and parking lot have taken shape. On the downstream end of the control structure, crews have also begun placing about 20,000 cubic yards of riprap, enough to fill a half dozen Olympic sized swimming pools. Over at the Red River structure, crews have completed structural excavation to a depth of nearly 50 feet below existing ground, where the deepest of the structure's footings will rest on driven H-Pile foundations. Those foundations were delivered and stockpiled in recent weeks, and installation has now begun at the structure's base. Sheet pile walls will be installed to cut off seepage below the structure, while 87,000 lineal feet of H-Pile will be used to anchor the Red River control structure itself. For perspective, that's 360 times more than the height of the North Dakota Capitol, the tallest building in the state. While Ames Construction is hard at work on the structures, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is marking completion of the first segment of the 20-mile-long Southern Embankment, SC1. Their contractor, HB Construction, has started work on the next stretch reach SC2A, which is just east of the Diversion Inlet structure. This section will span another two miles north and east. Upon the embankment's full completion, it will hold back floodwaters upstream of the FM Metro during times of extreme flooding. I have a quick update on the I-29 road raise project for you this month too. Drivers in the area will be happy to know that the County Road 18 interchange has reopened. Crews have also poured the southbound Borrow Ditch bridge deck at the project site, a portion of more than 14,000 cubic yards of concrete to be installed on the I-29 project. If you would like more updates on our construction progress, just check out fmdiversion.gov or follow us on social media.